Tonight, a former local teacher's aide speaking out on a problem with society where he says nobody wins. He talks about the costly consequences of a classroom fight and the sad aftermath for both of them. I sat down with Jasmine or Jazz Penix for his only one on one interview. This video of a teacher's aide attacking a student shocked people around the world. It happened at Bayview High School back in 2016. That aide, Jazz or Jasmine Penix, was fired. Penix sat down with me after learning that same student was involved in a recent police chase that killed a passenger. Sad, tragic. 18-year-old Marcellus Purifoy is charged with fleeing an officer resulting in death. I look what the aftermath. I was trying to tell somebody, I was trying to tell something back then three years ago based on like something ain't right with this individual. It's basically you're saying the system is just broken. The system is broken. The structure, the system, you know, NPS, juvenile courts, system, everything else, just of how the whole structure is now designed especially for young black youth, black men, whatever. Reggie Moore, director of the Office of Violence Prevention, helps people deal with conflict resolution. It's not just about the absence of violence. It's also about the presence of opportunity. So investing in after school programs, investing in prevention so that we don't need to build new prisons, you know, down the road. Pinnock says he knows the actions in this video are wrong, but claims the district did not provide enough discipline training or help he needed, despite calling school security that day. I called the pro call, did the protocol based on call for security and no one came to aid and assist me help me at all and seeing that video a lot of people would say yeah. well, well how could you be so violent with a child how could you do that where well, I gotta sit there and defend for myself or do something you know based on out of my character but I gotta sit there and maintain me and if I feel like I'm in harm's way Self-preservation. Pinnock says he rejected a $2,000 settlement with MPS, but still plans to pursue legal action. In the end, he feels everyone lost. One lost his job, the student lost his freedom, another his life. And for that, we all pay a heavy price. Bottom line, nobody wins. It's a lose-lose situation. Now, the principal of Bayview High School told me she could not comment on this case. Penix admits the ordeal sent him to counseling. He's also planning to write a book about his experience. Meanwhile, his former student, Marcellus Purifoy, will be back in court.